Today I'm going to react to Jubilee's middle ground episode, Liberal Lesbians versus Conservative Lesbians. As you probably know, I cannot show that much from the episode due to copyright issues, but I have picked the best and the most heated moments, so let's get started. Can I ask you how you identify as a lesbian when you're not a woman? I'm a non-man. I believe in including everyone. So you're a woman and you don't feel like a man? That makes you a woman. Well, even if you felt like a man, you would still be a woman, biologically speaking, but Calling yourself a non-man as a woman is... I know this is gonna to be tough for you to hear, but you're still a woman just because you have short hair. I know you think it's offensive to hear that women can wear whatever they want and still be women, but that's reality. No one sees you as something in between genders because that's not a thing. In all social situations, you are also being seen as a woman, no matter if people respect your pronouns or not. What is the point of having a community for minorities if the majority is also welcomed to the community? Honey, listen, you're not being inclusive if you want to erase a minority. But you know as much as we do that this has nothing to do with being inclusive, tolerant, and it has everything to do with power and dominance. It doesn't matter what other people go by. Everyone can be a part of the community. No matter who you are, labels don't matter as much as they did back then because it was only the LGB. So straight people can be a part of the LGBT community. According to these activists, we have to get rid of the definition of what it means to be LGBT so we don't upset the poor straight people who cannot be a part of the club. We have to feel so bad and so sorry for the straight men who are not allowed in lesbian spaces. Where's the line then? Because then we have there straight no people. Line. So why have a community if everybody's in the community? If you self-identify in the community, then we're all there for each other. Those eyes. If you want to join our community, you're welcomed. As you all know, self-ID means absolutely nothing. You can identify as a chair and you would be valid, according to these crazy people. She's probably one of those activists who will exclude me from the community. Blair White, Buck Angel, Ariel, who was in the studio herself, because we have the wrong opinions, so to speak. But she wouldn't mind including people who are not LGBT, but they just identify as such. So, um, who's really destroying the community? If you're straight and you identify as straight, you are not part of the community. I do not identify as straight. I identify as a non-binary lesbian. The lesbian community has accepted me. Wonder why? Of course you should be a part of the lesbian community. You're a woman who likes other women. Congratulations, you're a lesbian. You choose what you identify as. It's a choice. So what you're saying is sexual orientation is a choice. Huh, sounds familiar. It sounds like the radical Christians on the right that you are so against. So now that we're moving left and we're accepting more people into it, I'm finally accepted in the community. People actually do accept non-binary lesbians. Do you know that it's really obvious when you lie? Constantly repeating lies doesn't mean that they become true. The majority of all people on this planet do not believe in non-binary. Have you ever been outside? So this is Ariel's old friend who she lost due to Ariel coming out as a non-leftist, or rather anti-woke. And of course, Amber here makes it all about race and privilege. Let's watch. You are able to have privilege because you don't show up like I show up. You're not a woman of color. You're not masculine. My dad was a mailman, and then he died of cancer when I was 23. Amber's dad was a professional football player that made millions of dollars, but somehow I'm the one that's more privileged. How is Amber not privileged, whatever that means? Not only did she grow up wealthy, she lives in one of the freest countries in the world. She has just as much privilege as the rest of the panel. Do you know why? Because she's an American. She has American privilege, which I don't mean as a negative thing at all. <laughs> We're under attack. LGBTQIA plus Who? is under attack. We have 650 plus anti-LGBTQ bills attacking our existence. It's mostly attacking trans kids, which we all should be pissed. You have a problem with bills that are trying to protect our children from being sterilized by puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones just because the kids are saying, mommy, I'm a girl. Mommy, I'm a boy. Shame on you. Not only do you have a problem with bills that will protect children from abuse, you also think destroying healthy gender-confused children's bodies is their entire existence. You think that they're not valid without the medical transition. And that's disgusting. Especially when your community says that it's okay to be a woman with a full-size beard and a deep voice talking about a biological man. 
not needing to medically transition is apparently only for adults. Apparently we have to harm children, otherwise we're against their existence. You do not speak for the LGBT community. Most LGBT people, you know, the real ones, do not support children transitioning because they are smart enough to know that it's not okay from a moral perspective. They know as much as straight people that it's not okay to give children puberty blockers that will stop their puberty, stop their development, remove any form of future sexual function and fertility. You might be a real lesbian, but you do not represent all lesbians in any way. Do you know why? Because most lesbians would be on puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones if they were children today. Ask any gay person, did you play with the opposite sex toys and the opposite sex in general? Even straight kids do this. Gender dysphoric children do not deserve to get their bodies and their lives destroyed just because they show gender non-conforming behavior. It is absolutely evil to do this to children and that's why I call it a these bills you're talking about will actually protect children and actually give them rights that they apparently didn't have before. So stop claiming that the right is attacking kids. Your community is attacking kids. I would love to hear all of these laws that are affecting me. I am an American and I have every right as everybody else does. That's it's privilege. To, that, how is that privilege? But how she's also privileged? a person of color. I'm exactly, this has nothing to do with skin color. But you so show up differently than I do. How? You're black and being black. I, I am also black, black and Hispanic. Look at her face. This is the face of, I just got caught, damn it. The frustration of her not being able to use the black card, the race card, is hilarious. You live in a country where you won't get executed by the government or being imprisoned for being gay. How are you not privileged? Because you have dreadlocks? Because you're just 2% more masculine than a fem- Like, what even is this? I'm not gonna go there, it doesn't make any sense. I'm not gonna play their stupid little game. Earlier you guys were saying the LGB blah blah blah. That's also not caring about the rest of the humans that self-identify as those people. Right. We don't care and we shouldn't care about the people who are appropriating the LGBT identity. We should not care about people who are not only hijacking our community, they want to change society that actively harms children and women. I may not agree with you guys, but I'm still gonna respect you and what you self-identify as, which hopefully you will do the same to us. You do not respect them. But I see what you did there. You lie about respecting them, so if they don't respect you, they look like idiots, intolerant idiots. Well, the thing is, you have done absolutely nothing to earn any respect from them, from anyone. I want to make something very clear. Her talking about, oh, you have to respect me, respect me, respect me, has nothing to do with respect. What she's actually saying is, obey me, obey me, obey me. We have all the same rights as everyone else. And that's privilege. Okay, Why tell me what you? rights we don't have, what laws we don't have. Girl, I'm gonna send you No, I so want to much. know. No, say I it now, say, say it now. now. It's so funny because this perfectly shows how full of, you know what, these people are. Imagine being a lesbian in the Middle East. I'm sorry, I mean in Islamic countries because there is a Middle Eastern country that's not against gay people. I'm Israel Chai and listens to a woman who claimed that she doesn't have all of the rights that she needs as a LGBT person in America. And when being asked about those rights that she's missing, she doesn't even remember. She can't even bring them up. If you don't remember what rights you don't have, it says a lot about how oppressed you are. There are people who are being executed and imprisoned for being gay. So yet again, shame on you for acting like a victim when you're not, for not appreciating all of the rights you do have. Amber, do you know what's really fascinating? If you just choose to live a great life in the US, if you choose to be happy and grateful, you won't feel oppressed. I have been close friends with people who choose, actively choose to be the victim. They always want to be miserable in some sort of drama that's not pleasant to be in. And my conclusion is, you cannot do anything about it. So even though it sounds easy when I tell Amber that she can just choose to be happy, it's not that simple for her because the end goal for these people is not to be truly happy and grateful. It's not about equal rights and acceptance. Basically, they enjoy being miserable, angry, and hateful. For some odd reasons, the fight for acceptance and equality is their goal. They don't actually want to achieve those things. Whew. I'm gonna make a part two of this video because otherwise it's gonna be way too long. But before you go, please remember this. The activists who want to destroy not only our community, but also society, are constantly gaslighting you and trying to manipulate you. Do not fall for it. And please, for the love of God, do not respect them. They don't deserve any 
respect. Because what they're advocating for is straight up evil. Maybe not all activists are evil. However, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what these people's intentions are, if they're naive and unintelligent, but they mean well, or they're straight up evil themselves. I couldn't care less anymore. I do not care anymore. They are harming children. They're harming women and society in general. What they're doing is evil and we have to fight against it. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me and my work, my PayPal is in the description down below. You can also support me through locals.com or by becoming a member of this channel. I love you all and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.